Hey, it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade Ford and welcome to my channel. Okay, today I thought we would do a really quick, cute, and easy DIY using pretty much everything from Dollar Tree. So, I know Dollar Tree put out these little cute um, ghost soap dispensers and they also had a skull. And I know not everybody was lucky enough to find them, so my thought was I grabbed I grabbed three different soaps from Dollar Tree. I got um, the spa soap, but it's orange and I love the shape of this. I also got the Bath and Beauty pear scent and then just basic old dial soap and this is a vanilla honey. But I grabbed these based on like the shape and the color. So I just thought that we could turn these into some really cute Halloween and kind of like a fall soap dispensers. So, okay. Okay, so because of our cute little ghost, I thought we would use this one first, the white doll. So I'm just gonna get this sticker off the front. Hopefully this is gonna peel right off here. All right, so I'm just slowly gonna peel that up. All right. Now it did leave kind of a sticky residue. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is to remove the sticky residue, I'm gonna take some finger plus remover from Dollar Tree and a cotton ball. Get that on there. And I'm just gonna go over everywhere where it's sticky and this will take it off. Okay, so I just did a little of the finger plus remover and just some rubbing alcohol with the cotton ball. And it pretty much for the most part got it off. It still has a little bit of tackiness to it, but that's okay, because I'm gonna move on. Um, so we are gonna turn this one into a ghost. Okay, so for our ghost face, you can either use a black paint marker, a black Sharpie, or some of the vinyl from Dollar Tree. <laughs> this is like the black glittery that they had. I thought that'd be kind of neat. All I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut out like a circle or an oval, you know, whatever you wanna do, whatever shape. And it's a ghost, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so I kinda got like two eyes. Then I'm gonna do like a bigger one for its mouth. <laughs> Look, you could just do something like that. All right, so I'm gonna stick this on here. So all you do is you just pull off the backing. All right, so I'm gonna peel that off just like a sticker. And I'm just gonna put that on there and just kind of rub it down. And you can kind of make the eyes like a little wonky if you want, like one little bit higher than the other. And then his mouth. Okay. <laughs> Look, just made the little ghost. But we're gonna make this one even cuter. Okay, I have all of these different ribbons from Dollar Tree. So I am just gonna take I'm gonna take some of this little Halloween one. Maybe mix a little orange with it. Look how cute that is. Um, and then maybe also like the spider web. Okay, I'm just gonna put these three together just like that. I'm gonna wrap it around my soap dispenser while they're all together. And then I am just gonna tie me a knot. Okay, right around the little base. Just tie a tight little knot. You could do a bow if you wanted. Like I said, I'm just doing a little knot. Okay, so I'm going to trim these up. Okay, now look how cute that little soap dispenser is. This was just basic doll soap from Dollar Tree, Walmart, when you run to the grocery store. Grab you some white soap. And look, look how cute. Like I said, I use this vinyl from Dollar Tree, but uh, you could also do like the paint marker or a Sharpie, which we're gonna do on the other ones. But look, how cute. Okay, so we got our little ghost. All right, now we're gonna take this one, and I'm sure you know what we're gonna do with this. We are gonna turn this into a pumpkin or a jack-o'-lantern. Okay, so once again, I'm gonna get that front sticker off. So I'm just peeling this off. 
And of course, once again, it left some sticky residue. Okay. So I'm gonna try the rubbing alcohol. Okay, just on my cotton ball. And then just try to scrub and go over this, try to get that stickiness off. You can also use Dollar Tree sells a goo going. You could use that too if you have it. So, all right, so I've got my pumpkin. Okay, I'm gonna use this tad to kind of help me keep this still. I'm just gonna take a black Sharpie and I'm just gonna make me a, a pumpkin face. All right, I'm just gonna do basic triangles. And you can draw whatever kind of face you want is detailed. Okay, so I got that and I'm just gonna color this in. Okay, see the little um, eyes and nose. Now I'm gonna do like a big goofy smile. <laughs> There's my goofy little smile. All right, now I'm just gonna take my, take this and it's gonna like color it in. Just be careful while you're doing this, like you don't smear your eyes. Okay, so this is using a permanent marker and the black painter's marker. You can see, like I tried coloring it in, but you can still like kind of see through it. So maybe let this one top coat completely dry and then go over it with another. But for now, okay, look how cute that little face looks. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm gonna take these exact same ribbons that I used on this little ghost, because I love that. I love how that turned out. So I'm just gonna get these all together again. Okay. And once again, I'm just gonna wrap these around the bottom of the, of the lid and just tie me a knot. One, I'm gonna tie one more knot. Okay, and just pull that really tight and then start fluffing these out. Okay, I'm now just gonna trim them up. <laughs> and then look, once again, so cute and so easy. All right, so there's our little pumpkin. All right, now this one. I'm excited to try this one. So I'm gonna get that front sticker off. All right, once again, this um, is the Bangna Plush remover. I'm gonna try this one. See if I can get some of that sticky residue off. Okay, so now I've got my green soap dispenser and I'm sure you probably figured out what we're doing with this one. We are going to make a Frankenstein. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take my white paint marker, shake it up, and I'm just going to make, of course, two eyes first. Let's see, here's the center. Kind of do something like that. <laughs> and this is not going to be perfect, and it doesn't have to be perfect. And remember, it's Frankenstein. There's nothing perfect about Frankenstein. Okay, so obviously two ovals for my eyes. I'm gonna try to fill these in. Okay, so I'm just slowly just kind of going back forth, trying to get this to fill in for me. Okay, same thing. I'm just gonna color this one in really quick. Okay, so I'm gonna let my eyes continue to dry for a few minutes before I add the pupils. All right, so now I'm gonna take my black Sharpie and we are gonna make kind of like a crooked little mouth and then like his stitches. So I'm gonna have kind of a, a happy Frankenstein. Almost like a swoosh, you know, like a check mark. <laughs> just like that. Now I'm just gonna do like little stitches. Okay, so once again, I'm gonna kind of do like that little check mark. 
See, like a little check mark, and then just do little dashes for his stitches. <laughs> See, just like that. Now I'm gonna do a scar like up here by his little, where his eyebrow would be at. So I'm just gonna do another basic little one. And then just once again, some little dashes. Doot, doot, doot. <laughs> Look, <laughs> that's so cute. All right, okay, so now I'm gonna try to do some pupils. <laughs> and I want this one to be a little cross-eyed. So I think I'm just gonna kinda do my dot, just like right here. I'm gonna do this one over here. <laughs> Look at that, so cute. Okay, now we are not done with this one. Okay, so uh, real life, ignore the stuff back there. My kids were making lunch. So all I'm gonna do is I went out to the garage, dug around through the toolbox, and I found this big screw and a bolt. And I just put the bolt on the very end of it um, so you can use screws, but you want something that's got like a flat end. You don't want like a pointed screw. So I just found this flat. And what I mean by that is, see this screw right here? It's blunt. It's completely flat on the end. There's no point to it. So I'm going to use these for the little bolts sticking out of Frankenstein's neck. You could also, like a Dollar Tree, the, um, the thumbtacks, like the push pins are plastic and they're kind of tall. You could use that, just like take some, like a cutter and cut off, of course, the little pin part, but you would still have the little bolt that could stick out. So, um, so I'm gonna use that. You could also use a stick. Like if you have like a stick in your yard and you can use those. It's just, you know, whatever you can find like around your house, you know, just get creative with it. Okay, so I take these and I'm seriously, I'm gonna hot glue mine on, but I'm not gonna put it on extremely hot. I'm gonna put it onto my bolt, let it kind of cool for a minute, then I'm gonna attach it. If you have super glue, I don't have any super glue. That would work. Just don't glue your fingers together. But okay, I'm gonna try this. So I'm just gonna take my hot glue gun. I'm gonna put some hot glue onto the back of my bolt. And I'm gonna wait a minute though before I attach it. Kinda let that start to cool down just a little bit because this is plastic. Okay, and then I'm just gonna come over to the side and I'm gonna glue my bolt. And I'm just gonna hold that and let that dry. All right, <laughs> that is on there. <laughs> All right, same thing. I'm gonna put hot glue onto the back of my bolt, my nut and bolt right here, or bolt, my screw in the little bolt, whatever this thing is called. <laughs> All right, so I've got the hot glue on there. I'll let it just kinda like cool down for a minute. All right, I'm trying to eyeball this, and I'm gonna stick this right here on the other side, hold that down, and let that dry. Like I said, I didn't put it on there extremely hot, because I don't wanna melt my plastic. <laughs> Can you see that? Look how adorable. <laughs> okay, same thing. I am just gonna add like, some cute little bows right here, cute little ribbon. Let's see what I want to do real quick. I think on my Frankenstein, because there is a lot more to him, I think I'm just going to do the black and white, like gingham check from, from Dollar Tree. Okay. And all of this ribbon that I used is from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to go once again below it. And I'm just going to tie me a bow. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> that is too daggone cute. That's hilarious. I love it. <laughs> okay, but just look how cute. Look at that ghost. He is adorable. Look how cute. You know, and if you want, like you can make his like, it's eyes and mouth like bigger. That way it takes up more of the bottle. So this is just me just kind of playing around in the kitchen. So I kind of went with this size, but I really could do its mouth like longer. That way it takes up more down here. But that is so cute, you know? Put this in your kitchen or your bathroom. So I love this one. And then the little jack-o'-lantern. 
<laughs> that is so cute. Now on this one, I did the, um, the permanent marker and then the paint marker. So you can kind of see, I honestly think I like the vinyl better. You know, just at Dollar Tree, grab some black or glitter black. It's got like the glitter in it, the sparkle. But yeah, but it still, it works. Now I would definitely let this sit and dry before you start using it, like to wash your hands, because that getting wet, it may come off. So let it sit for a few hours to really dry. But yeah, but that's adorable. Just add just the same little bow. Just add those little ribbons from Dollar Tree. So cute. And then this one is my favorite. <laughs> I love the Frankenstein. So cute. Uh, like I said, any screws you have around the house, um, like the little, let's see if I can find one. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. These little push pin things from Dollar Tree. If you have some of these, all you have to do is just cut or break the plastic part off because like I said, you don't want to poke in to your bottle because your soap's going to spill out. You could glue this onto the side and you could even paint it if you wanted black, silver, or just leave it that clear color. But I love this one. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> I think this would be like a really cute project to do with kids. You know, let them have some fun with it. But all right, this was just like a quick, cute, easy little, just something I was thinking about. And I think that our ghost is cuter than this ghost. <laughs> but this one's really cute too though. But this one, you, know, you can add you know, anything that you want to it. So, all right, but let me know which one is your favorite. I really do, I think I have to say Frankie. <laughs> because I love it. But all right, so that is it. Um, it is a rainy Sunday afternoon here. Uh, the Ravens and the Broncos are getting ready to come on, which were both U of O quarterbacks, Lamar Jackson and Teddy Bridgewater. So I'm going to go watch the game with the family. But I hope that you have a wonderful day, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.